there, it's Lindsay Upton the Quilt Quine with a quick and easy project on the Bernina L890 Overlocker cover stitch machine. Sometimes I need something easy to do while I'm supervising what Qmatic's doing in the background. So today I'm going to have a little go at something a bit like Crazy Patch. I won't have to move very far. I've got just a pair of scissors and I'm going to be using a flat lock to join the pieces together. Just in my corner here, I've got a little ironing station, should I need to flatten anything out as I go. So, let's have a look at the machine settings and see how we get on. I've decided to make a simple patchwork cushion cover using a basket full of scraps. I did think it would be a little bit of an improv project or even crazy patch, nothing too planned. So I had an experiment with the sort of stitches that I might use, eliminating some, and the one that I have decided to use is a three thread flat lock narrow using the right needle. Now I experimented, I had a look at how the stitches looked and I've made some tweaks. I've just reduced the stitch width to 1.7 as usual, I've used the guided mode and then once in the guided mode, had a go at making a few samples and then just played around with some of the settings. Having come up with a setting that I really like, I put it into my favourites. So this morning I have come along and I have called up the stitch favourite that I've named Patchwork Flatlock. So hopefully this project won't take me too long. What I've decided to do today is just join some leftover strips and pieces together until I get a bit that's large enough to rejoin and make a cushion cover. So at the moment I've just got two strips that I found. They are right sides together under the L890 and I'm using my three thread flat lock narrow to join them together. So it's going to do me a nice little neat edge along here. And once I've constructed a few pieces like this, I can just slice them up with my scissors or my rotary cutter, flatten them out with the iron and see where it takes me. Okay, having joined the two strips together, you simply pull them apart like this and you expose the flat lock, which looks like a rather nice ladder stitch. So I'll do that all the way along and then I shall give it a press, first on the back and then on the front and then it will be nice and flat. I've got some pretty haphazard chunks of fabric here, all out of a scrap basket. All I've done is maybe chop them down to size with my nice big dressmaking scissors and then when I have enough pieces I will chop them up and rejoin them into something that will make me a cushion cover. Okay so I've been chucking some bits of fabric under my machine joining them together now I've got some quite big chunks so I'm going to just slice each of these up a bit and make it look like I've spent ages planning this whole project out. Well that didn't take terribly long at all I've got all the chopped up pieces rearranged, absolutely zero effort made to match up seams, but I'm pretty pleased with this. It's quite a big piece. It'll certainly do for at least one side of the cushion. I'd better crack on and make the other side. Okay, just a little while later in the afternoon, and I have turned my two large pieces and a long thin bit into a cushion cover, even has a zip. Making the patchwork was very quick. The machine is speedy. I didn't have to worry too much about cutting things accurately. And I soon got the patchwork pieces big enough to make a front, a back and side for my cushion. The bit that was tricky was putting in the zip and getting it all together. And I did do that on the domestic sewing machine. I could have done it on the L890 if I'd had a little bit more confidence in my upholstery ability. But I'm working my way up to that. All in all, I'm pretty pleased with my project. The patchwork looks really nice. I didn't quilt it or anything. It's just gone round a very lumpy old cushion. If you can see, the stitching is rather nice. It has a look of crazy patch. I think it's rather sweet. <laughs> 